Hello and welcome everyone. As I realized, I forgot to put my mic routing. <laughs> welcome to Vestiverse Storytime. Hope you're all having yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. No, I do not want to start quite yet. That's all right. So today we're going to be uh, getting right into the game. That's right, not even an intro screen. We're just going boom right into everything. Yeah, you know what? Forget it. We're just going into it. Just like that. Boom. Last we left off, we had, we were in this lovely fun house, and we were about to go to the tower. No, not the tower. The danger room. Wherever that is. That's strawberry? I think it's strawberry. So we need to go down to the elevator. Now, we've been starving. Two days. Two days with no food. Look at how slow I run now. It's like, ugh. Please, uh, give me some food. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, speaking of which, we should check our pet. No, oh, no duty to fill. Sorry, it's clean. The final dead room. The final countdown. As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out. With this, I can finally get out. Hold it. You can't do that. Cause it's bad. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's not true, Chucky. The exit's going to be here. There is no exit. All that's there is the life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you'll only obtain the weapon that Monokuma prepared. Do you want the weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? Oh. You had this intense, worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. Looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hashime. Right? Okay. No! How do we know? Chiaki and I went back to the grape house together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. She seems perfectly fine, strangely enough. We're on the verge of starving to death, and there's no way to escape. Is it really okay to just lay here and take it? Or... This morning, I couldn't help feeling angry. That I said what I said in front of everyone, but I I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then, all of a sudden, I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. This is day three without food. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, dang. Yeah, they don't get, they're not getting water either. Unless they're drinking from the toilets? Well, there's a bathroom, so maybe they have running faucets in there, so they won't die of thirst. And thirst is what would kill you for faster if you were done. Didn't get any water. That was a big explosion. Hmm? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Maybe I'm just confused. As soon as I mumbled that, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence, ambivalence, sorry, ambivalence toward everything began to overpower my body. And once again, I sank to the depths of unconsciousness. I have been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go to the convenience store. There, I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny, expensive car. There's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a rundown apartment, and all he has is his pride. 
because he doesn't have a stable job or money. But he wants to show off so much that he's forcing himself to do that. From morning till noon, he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job. And at night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, so he sponges off his parents back home. As that fantasy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad Shocking. about myself. <laughs> my body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake. But my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Fiercely cold. As if the core of my body is getting numb. But I need to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go to Monokoma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. Ah, it's already 5 minutes till 7am. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity. But if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. And I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's go to Crepe Tower. Well, I can still run. <laughs> Where is Crepe Tower? I keep forgetting. Upstairs. Oh, right. It's uh, downstairs then. The elevator was upstairs. Ah, Hajime, good morning. Wow, she seems really perky and awake. Sonya, you seem energetic. <laughs> What's so funny? Amazing! My goodness, Hajime, when did your face become Mont Blanc all of a sudden? She's not energetic, she's extremely dangerous. Um, just the corner is fine, so may I take a bite out of you? Um... You'd get a stomach ache. <laughs> Oh my, now there's an adorable shortcake. That's wrong. I'm not a shortcake, I'm Chiaki. Chiaki, you too. Are you about to head over to Grape Tower? Yep. It's almost time. Come on, if you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. Over to the Grape Tower. Click, click, click. Then I'll press the button. When I press the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. It was very sudden. That's right. It's always sudden. The door to despair always opens suddenly. <gasps> oh no. Oh, that is a... Ah! Ha ha! Look at that! I was right! It was Nekumaru who died. Oh man. On the other side of that door... I saw the remains of our friend. And they just got him back to... Oof. Oof. I totally could have done this last night. Oh well. <laughs> A body has been discovered! Wait. Wait. Oh, I guess, okay, I guess it's because it's saying Chiaki, myself, and Sonya went in at once, I'm guessing. Not just me. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! A violent shiver coursed through my body. Oh! It's locked on that other side. Interesting. My heart began to pound faster and faster. I could feel the blood in my head pulsating instant intensely. My teeth were chattering with horror. What the hell is this? 
When I was finally able to speak, my voice sounded so small I could barely hear it myself. Why... why is this happening? It's... so strange. He finally... he finally came back to us. This is a nightmare, please. Let me wake up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. Nikamaru! No, this is a lie, right? Based on our situation and the body discovery announcement, it's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. Killing. I can't deny this truth, but... Why? As usual, that was the only word I could squeeze out. Hey. What, what happened? Akane! Move. Move! Move it! Can I pushed me aside and ran straight over to Nekamaru. Nekomaru, why did he have to die again? I know she's got to go through this twice now. Damn it. I never paid you back. I never paid you back. For your help last time. <laughs> oh, poor Akane. Damn it. How cruel. This is just too much. Why? Why did Nakamaru have to die? Though his appearance was drastically altered, he still came back to us. Oh. Why? Why does this always happen? No matter how much I try to stop it, this is always the result. Is this something I can't st stop? No matter how many times I try to stop this, this always happens. Ah. Uh. Is Chiaki the traitor then? So if this is future foundation simulation, and they're running through trying to how to stop killing games, it makes sense that the traitor's always in there trying to make sure that the killings don't start. Hmm, so that could be it. Damn it. Hey! Nakamaru got killed, right? That announcement means what I think it means, right? I won't hey, who did who did it? Who killed Nakamaru? Hiya. Looks like someone has finally pumped up. You. Hey, you know who did it, right? Who killed Nakamaru? What? What do you want? Don't get mad at me all of a sudden. In fact, I'm the one who should be mad. I went to a, to a lot of trouble to bring Nakamaru back from the dead. And he already let the killer break him! <laughs> How disappointingly foolish. Maybe he had a few screws loose? <laughs> you know, cause he's a robot! You talking about Nekomaru? Oh god, I come down. Phew. Use those powers that your anger has awoken for the investigation. Um, um Monokuma, is there any way you can fix Nekomaru? I could have fixed him if his head was still attached, but since he's like this, it's impossible. Plus, the last time this happened, it was my fault. But this time, the killer is one of you guys. Yep. I'm under no obligation to fix him for you. <sighs> I guess it was a waste of time to ask him. In other words, a life that dies once will never return twice. That's reality for you. So, oh, even though it's getting a little boring. Let's get on with the usual routine. It's the file. Yay! Also, this is a gift from me to you. Red bean bread and milk. <gasps> oh, everybody's gonna be so excited they're gonna scarf that down so quick. <laughs> I brought you guys a present since the killing went off without a hitch. Besides, if I don't feed you, you guys probably won't last long enough for the class trial. Definitely find out who killed Coach Nakamaru. After I kill that guy, you're next! I'll definitely destroy you. So even though it sucks, I'm going to eat first. If I don't get some food in me, I can't unleash my full power. You're right. We're going to avenge Nakamaru. We gotta regain as much energy as we can. Damn it. I'm going to eat. See? Come on, Hajime, you too. 
Yeah, you're right. I've been waiting to eat something for so long. Damn it. I never expected I'd feel this terrible when I finally ate again. Hey, hey! Eat it slowly. It'd be bad if you got a stomach ache. We ate our food in silence. Slowly, my blood began coursing through my veins. I started to slowly regain feeling in my numb body. Whew. Isn't that wonderful? Looks like you've gotten your energy back. And let's hurry up and start already. I'm gonna do it! Killer and you! I beat the crap out of both of you with my bare hands! However... Uh, um, regardless of whether we start or not, what has happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. You mean the guys in Strawberry House? Now that you mention it, no one's here. Hmm. That's weird. They should have come to Grape Tower because we had Monokuma Tai Chi. Unbelievable. Jeez, how unacceptable. I never expected all of you to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. Honestly, it was way beyond my expectations. What are you gonna do? Well, since it happened anyway, I guess it is what it is. Everyone ditched? Does everyone include us too? Do your best. <laughs> I'll do your best to investigate. I'll see you again at the class trial. <gasps> Honey Bear! Hey, how's it going? How were your games today? Last one I was able to really fully tune into was uh you chasing down the that poor Mundo with your volley bear and your teammates leaving you high and dry. And they only came to help you. Right when you had like that much health left. I was sitting there going <sighs> It's very clear you're running right towards the Mundo. You're going for him. You're a volley bear. You can do it. You're going to toss him back into your friends. But no. No, they wanted to go wave clear. Get that mad gold. Hmm? I hear... I hear something. Um... What do you hear? Huh? <gasps> Could it be Nakamaru? Damn it. Of course not. He's already dead. Yo. Oh, well, now's not the time to worry about that sound. That sound? What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. Um... And what about Gundam and the others? Is it alright that we have not summoned them here? I like come here soon anyway. That's not the time to worry about them. You're right. You should have heard the body discovery announcement already. They'll probably come soon. Maybe. Yep. Then we should start the investigation soon. Yeah, you're right. Gotta do it. I have to do it. First, I need to look at the Monokuma file. The victim is Nekamaru Nidai, a.k.a. Mekamaru, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the Funhouse. His head is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they got separated due to a severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of this body are damaged. Because of this, many of his functions seem to have shut down. Interesting. His arms and legs were detachable, and it looks like they separated due to a severe impact. Does that mean Ekamaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon? But was there a reason they needed to club him over and over again? Monokuma number five. Truth. Bullets. Yeah. What is this? The door at the far back has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Looks like it's a sturdy metal chain. It's wrapped around the doorknob from every direction. It even has a padlock on it. Why did they do something like this? Perhaps this was used as an alternative to locking the door with a key? If that's the case, you wouldn't be able to enter this tower from the Strawberry Hall side. After all, this door should lead to Strawberry Hall. You are right. If they barred this side of the door with a chain, it would be impossible to open it from Strawberry Hall. But still, why would they need to bar the door to Strawberry Hall? The chain has been added. That is interesting. Why would they? I see. Um, I in see. this case, is. 
sorry that big yawn came out of nowhere. Um, in this case, it's Monokuma file. There's no risen time of death, right? Didn't that happen when Ibuki and Hyoko died too? Oh, did it? But the reason the time of death wasn't mentioned when those two died was because the time of death was key to the mystery surrounding the murder. Could that be the case this time too? Um. By the way, I would like to confirm this just in case. Ultimately, is it safe to assume the Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building? Well, that's the only thing we can think of. Even when we experimented with Chiaki's handbook and left it in the Grape Tower, it still showed up in Strawberry Tower. Which means? The reason each tower's wall is different colors is because the floor lighting is changing the colors. The reason Usami's floor portrait is different in each tower is because merely a projection. Yeah, that should be the case. Then then it is decided the two towers are the same building. Which means this scene of the crime is this simultaneously Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower. Well, yeah, we covered that already! Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building. How does that even- how does that pertain to Nakamaru's murder? Covered that so long ago! Huh? huh? What's this? Did you find something? Well? Um, under Nakamaru's body- no, wait. There are small rock-like frag- rock-like fragments underneath Nakamaru's body didn't need to correct yourself like that. And what do you mean rock-like fragments? See? Here, look. There are a lot of these small fragments. It's like they fell under Makamaru's body. Well? Oddly enough, though these fragments are underneath Makamaru's body, there are hardly any on top of his body at all. What's strange about that? Is there a problem that they're not on top of his body? Yep. If you don't know, it's okay. Probably means they're not that important. Well, if you put it like that, now I can't help but think they're important. Which means the pillar dropped before Nekomaru was killed. Which is odd because this has the blood. It's Nekomaru's body. It's cruelly broken. It looks like it's been so severely damaged that even his head was dented. That'd be the fatal wound, right? But Nekomaru's robot body should have been durable enough to withstand any assault. For Nekomaru to be this damaged it can only mean whoever attacked Nekomaru didn't hold back. Now's probably not the best time to think this, but I guess Nekomaru was really transformed into a robot, huh? I was getting used to the idea, but now that I think about it, robots are definitely unusual. Well, it doesn't matter if he was a robot or not. Either way, Nakamaru was still killed. Hmm, that's definitely strange, isn't it? Hmm? What is? Well? If they wanted to kill him, they could have just destroyed his head. Why did they destroy his entire body, too? Maybe they didn't know how to kill a robot. So they damaged him all over. You? They went against Coach Nakamaru, he ain't the type to die easily. They obviously didn't fight him head on. Even then, wouldn't leave himself open to attack. You're right. In fact, that's the biggest mystery. Nakamaru was even stronger after he became a robot. I can't think of anyone who'd be capable of killing him. Anyway, this alone isn't enough information. I should investigate a little more thoroughly. Is this ready? <laughs> A strutty metal wire tied to Nekomaru's left leg. The same wire is tied to his arms. It's almost like he was bound up or something. But even if they bound him up, the killers still had to deal with the robotic Nekomaru first. Who did this? And how were they able to bind Nekomaru? Also, the tip of this wire... Looks like it's been tied in a loop. But... What was the point of this? That is a very good question. What was the point? The cover on his chest is open slightly, but it won't open much more because the cover's all messed up. If only Kazuichi was here. We might have been able to open it. Jeez, what the heck could he be doing right now? Huh? There's something protruding from behind Nakamaru's neck. Is this... That's right, it's a cutting-edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the goodnight button. 
on the back of my neck and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. Maybe the killer pressed this button and made Nekamaru enter sleep mode. But still, it's hard to think the killer was able to easily press a button on the back of Nekamaru's neck. Even if Nekamaru was ambushed, it still wouldn't be easy. Good night, button. This fluid flowing out of Nekamaru's body, based on the smell, seems like oil. It seems to be flowing heaviest from Nekamaru's head, probably because that's where the fatal blow was dealt. This oil for Nekamaru, this might be similar to normal blood in humans. Which means all this oil is just a pool of robot blood. Anyway, that's a whole lot of oil. It's not going to be easy to clean up. No, now's not the time to even worry about that. As for now, that's all I can do to investigate Nekamaru's body. Back off from that body. Now what about this hammer? It's clean! The enormous hammer has been carelessly left on the floor. It's like, it's suspicious because it stands out so much. How cruel! Perhaps that hammer is the weapon that broke Nekamaru? I do believe a weapon of that size is capable of damaging Nekamaru. Hey, Julian, it's hammer time! That's right. This hammer is the weapon? But it looks a little too clean. It's almost like it's new or something. I agree with that. It is strange, no? Also, where did the killer obtain this hammer? Prior to now, I do not believe I have ever seen an object like this. Was it hidden somewhere? Good point. There's no supermarket in here. I wonder where they obtained it from. Well, that and the cord. The pillar next to the door is tipped over and broken. Did this pillar break when it fell over? Not just that, there's a strange liquid on the upper section of the pillar. Is this Nekamaru's oil? This is the only pillar that's tipped over. The other one is still standing. Plus, behind me is the door to Grape Hall. The two pillars on each side of that door haven't changed either. They're not tipped over. It's strange that this pillar is the only one that's tipped over. It might mean something. Huh. I see, I got it! Now what? Leave it to me. This pillar is the weapon! The killer used this to beat up Coach Nakamaru! This huge pillar? Damn it. If he got socked by something like this, even Coach Nakamaru wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, well, that's impossible. It'd be too heavy to wield as a weapon. Now then. Hajime, grab that end over there. Huh? I'm gonna do you have to try it out, obviously. Come on, hurry up. Fine. Jeez, you're more forceful than usual. Yeah, that, that's not gonna happen. It's no, it's no use. It's barely budging. Didn't I tell you? All right. If that's how it's gonna be, my body can take it. Power. Times three! No, seriously, just give it up already. Let's see here, there's... Why? It's no use, it won't even budge. Two people can't even move this pillar, then it's impossible to use it as a bludgeoning weapon. Hmm. Well, there's only one person who could have lifted something like this. I'm just taking a quick look at something here. Um, we are looking at... Oh, interesting. I wonder if they're clothes. I'm in the hankering for something sweet. So I was just taking a look at... But this one place I usually order from. It's not coming up, so either they're no longer on this app. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well. Robo Coach Nekamaru, he's definitely the only one. Tripped over pillar has been added to the truth bullets. Tripped over? What I'm wondering is if somebody smashed 
the pillar with the hammer. The pillar fell down onto Nekamaru. Over here. And then they dragged him over here? Hmm. I don't know. I can't. There's something to do with this noose. Something to do with the noose. I'm not entirely sure what. Did you find anything? Hmm. 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 Looks like you haven't found anything yet. You need clues, right? I remember something, so just wait for it. Looks like that's gonna be a little hard. Oh, I remember. There is something I thought was weird. It happened early in the morning. You're going back that far? Come on, you noticed it too, right? You heard that rumbling sound? Rumbling. That would be the pillar falling down. But what was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Guess I'm just thinking too much. Um. I was sleeping pretty heavy, so I wouldn't think about how hungry I was. But that noise woke me up. I ran out of my room without thinking. After I did that, then what happened? I didn't see anything. I looked like the others didn't come out of their rooms either. I felt pretty dumb for being the only one who came out, so I went back to my room and fell asleep. In the end, I never found out what that sound was. It's been on my mind for a while. You know, now that you mention it, it does seem strange. Just, what was that sound? You don't know either? Well, I should tell you in more detail. When I ran out of my room, I happened to glance at the lounge clock. It said it was around 5.30 a.m. Will you be able to find out anything with that info? I didn't think that rumbling noise happened that early in the morning. But I'm not really sure if that noise pertains to the incident or not. Hmm. Why? The hell, I went to the trouble remembering that and you've got nothing? Jeez, you're so damn useless. She seems agitated. Well, it's understandable. Alright, that's it for now. What is it? You seem lost in thought. Mm. Well, the final dead room. The final dead room. The heck? Why are you bringing up that place all of a sudden? So... Well, the hammer on the floor, the chain wrapped around the door at the far back, and the wire that tied up Mekamaru. All the evidence of this crime scene consists of things we've never seen inside this building, doesn't it? As long as we can't leave, then there's no doubt that they came from somewhere within this building. That's why you mentioned the final dead room. Onokuma said beyond that room, there's an ultimate weapon in a place called the Octagon. Yeah, so if we think of that place like an armory, then that's where the killer obtained their tools, right? Then, if so, let us go confirm it. Oh, that's dangerous. If you go in there, you have to play the life-threatening game. Well? Then I'll be the one who tries to confirm it. Huh? What are you saying? You were the one who said that place was dangerous, right? You? Man, it's noisy. I can't focus at all with all this noise. Sorry. Like that. Hmm? It's not you guys, there's a sound that's been ringing since before the investigation started. A ringing sound since before the investigation? That reminds me, you've been mentioning that sound for a while, haven't you? Hey, hey. Honey, what kind of sound is it? Um... Like this high-pitched alarm clock sound. Probably ringing from upstairs. Could it be... Maybe it's better if we go check out that sound first. Could it perhaps be... The telephone? Hmm, are you gonna go check it out? Then you guys go, I'll stay here. Then... I shall wait here as well. Please be careful, you two. Sonya's okay, but... How can we not going, Akane? Uh, hey. Well, that sound is annoying. I don't really feel like leaving. Hey, hey. Hashime, it's okay if it's just the two of us. Come on, Akane says she wants to stay here. Huh? Oh, I get it. She... She doesn't want to leave Nekamaru's side. I don't know if she's actually aware of that or not. Yep. Let's go, Hashime. Yeah, if you say so. So, is the elevator not working then? Yep. Now that we've come all the way here, I can definitely hear something. Yep, sounds like it's coming from the floor above us, but what can it be? So, oh, that long dial tone that we thought we heard the other day, it wasn't just a dial tone, it was literally ringing forever. Just like this. 
Oh, where's the alarm? Jeez, it's so noisy. It looks like that phone is ringing. That phone, huh? Yes, I'll answer it. Let's see. Just pick up the receiver and press the strawberry button, right? Damn right. Oh, you finally answered. <gasps> that voice. Is that you, for you, Hugo? Did you not long that phone was ringing? I was getting worried that no one would pick up. What are you guys doing? Are you all still in the strawberry house? If we wanted to go over there, we can't. Looks like someone broke the damn elevator. It's not moving at all. We can't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall because the door button there is broken too. But basically, we're sitting ducks here. Not only is the elevator broken, but the Strawberry Hall door button is broken too? Hey, bastard! Hey, are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Anyway, everyone in Strawberry House is safe, right? We're safe, but we can't find Nakamaru anywhere. Do you know anything? Didn't you hear? The body discovery earlier? Damn it. So that's what it was. Crap, why did it have to be Nekamaru? Just came back to us. Where was he killed? Grape Tower. When I went there this morning, he was already. Let's see, Grape Tower. The door Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, we'd be able to enter the tower and. But crap, that's it! The killer broke the elevator and the Strawberry Hall door. So they could split everyone up and prevent us from doing a proper investigation. Oh, man. Damn it, that dirty bastard. What about another way? Is there any way you guys can come to this well, side? Yeah. I guess we just have to let Kazuichi handle it. He said he'd take care of the elevator. I guess he's our only hope right now. You're right. He says if he doesn't stand out now, when the hell will he, right? Like... Based on what Kazuichi said, it's going to be hard for him to fix the strawberry hall door without parts. They say he might be able to do something about the broken elevator. We'll be waiting. You guys are going to be okay? Damn right. Yeah. We'll head over there as soon as Kazuichi fixes the elevator. Until then, it's up to you bastards. Hey, hey. So the call came from Strawberry House. Apparently, the others can't come here because the elevator's broken. There's no doubt this is the killer's doing. They've prevented the others from coming to the crime scene. As long as the elevator's out of commission, those guys won't be able to investigate. That's not all. For some reason, even the door button to Strawberry Hall is broken too. Huh? The door button to Strawberry Hall? Um. And that door, is it blocked from both sides? Now that's odd. Why would they lock it like that? But also bust the button. And there's a sturdy chain tied around it from the inside. But if the button is also broken on the outside, then, yeah, that seems to be the case. Mm. Hmm, why did the killer need to block both sides of the door? That is weird. Not sure, but there is something strange about that. Mm. I would like to investigate that in more detail, but... If they can't come over here, then we can't go over there. Yep. Which means, for now, it's impossible to check the final dead room. Not entirely comfortable with you going over there, but regardless, it's impossible now anyway. Apparently, Kazuichi is repairing the elevator. All we can do for now is put our hope in him. You're right. Monokuma isn't going to wait. I doubt we have that much time before the class trial starts. I hope Kazuichi can fix this soon. If not... Hey. Are you even listening? Hey, bastard. Hey, are you listening? Wait, what? Damn right. Nagito, I'm talking to you. Wait, what? Huh? Jeez. Don't harm me. I figured you weren't even listening. Sorry, I was just thinking. <laughs> You're probably thinking of something messed up, weren't you? But I haven't been listening to you. Nekamaru was killed, right? And that body discovery announcement was referring to him. Everyone here just had to be Nekamaru. What he went through to come back to us, damn it. It's tantamount to be killed twice, truly. He was a man burdened by terrible misfortune. Hey. Okay, so now that we know the situation over there, is it alright if I go ahead and fix the elevator? Ah, uh, is it alright if you wait a little bit? 
Before you do that, we should... Did you call for me? Get the monoclophile, right? <laughs> He's here! It seems like you guys have noticed that the incident has taken place. So this is for you. Red bean bread and milk. And there's a bonus item. It's the Monokuma file. Yay! Do your best. Come on, satisfy your hunger with this. And do your very best on the investigation. Why... Is the Monokuma file being treated like a bonus item? Whatever, man. Let's just eat. Eating should come first right now. Damn right. You're right. It's okay if you guys eat. But can you hear me out while you're at it? What is it? Well, I was thinking about what we should do, and I wanted to discuss it. Even so. Thanks to the killer, we can't even go to the crime scene. We have to wait till Kazuichi fixes the elevator. True. There is no doubt that the killer is responsible, but seems as though they made a huge mistake. There's no way the symbols of hope give up because of this little setback. There's no way everyone will just cross their arms and wait for the class trial to start. We need to do everything we can on our end to prepare for the class trial, right? Well, yeah. It seems that we too shall begin the investigation on our end. Though it remains how clear how much we can do. <laughs> Is this acceptable if I show my serious side? Things will not end with mere child's play. Ah, oh, I'm so glad. I knew you guys were pumped up from the start. How beautiful. <coughs> Even though you guys are suffering from despair, I can see that you guys are still fighting for hope. Ah, such beauty. There is no higher honor for me than to investigate this murder with you guys. So, we need to be grateful toward Nekamaru for becoming the foundation of this hope. Well, regardless, whose side shall I be on for this case? The killer or the rest of you guys? I must make sure I face this case's mystery, mystery properly if I'm going to find out which side is the true hope. <laughs> oh dear. Hey you guys, why don't we try arranging the sequence of events in this case? You know, so we can properly understand the situation we're in. Fine. I have no objection. Proceed. Then, let's look back at what happened this morning. We tried to use the elevator so we could participate in Monokuma Tai Chi, right? Damn right. Since we're staying at Strawberry House, in order for us to get to the meeting spot at Grape Tower, we needed to use the elevator first to go to Grape House. That was before 7 a.m., since it was right before Monokuma Tai Chi. Man. Well, once we realized the elevator was disabled, I seriously panicked. Anyway. And since we couldn't do anything about it, we just tried to get inside the tower from the Strawberry Hall. But when we actually got there, the button on the hall door was broken. Thanks to that, we couldn't enter the tower at all. <laughs> so, Fuyuhiko suggests that we use the phone and call Grape House. This too and that was everything that happened this morning. I must say, I'm surprised. I never expected the elevator would be disabled. But then, how was Nekamaru able to go to Grape Tower? Man. Well, obviously he went before the elevator was disabled. And when was that? Ooh. Idiot, if we knew that, this wouldn't be difficult. Well. No, we must know what time he went to Grave Tower. You serious? Eh? Seriously? I... Hmm. It was around sunrise. That's when I saw him going down to the first floor. What? You mean you personally witnessed Nekamaru going to Grave Tower? Hey. When was this sunrise? Was it before that rumbling sound? Huh? Rumbling sound? Huh? What? You don't remember? We have the clock in the lounge started ringing. We heard a rumbling noise. Did that clock even ring in the first place? Hey, hey, hey. You didn't notice that either? Seriously? I think it was super loud. Huh, oh, that's weird. Hmm, I feel like we're not quite on the same wavelength. Well, it is what it is. There's no way you guys will ever be the same wavelength as trash like me. Hmm. 
<laughs> Looks like this is leading to an interesting development. Yes, I want to look at the clock. Let me look at the clock! This is the clock everyone's talking about, right? Hmm, I never knew this clock had an alarm function. This alarm is set to 5.30 a.m. That probably means something. Just as I thought, this telephone's connected to Grape House. If means of communication was repaired, it's as if something like this was expected to happen. Well, I'm probably overthinking things. Hey, Kazuichi, if you don't mind, can you inform me? That stuff about a rumbling noise and the ringing clock, what was that all about? Oh. Seriously, you don't know? You're so kind, Kazuichi. Thank you for actually taking the time to explain it to me. Uh. Huh? <clears throat> That's how it is. Fine, I'll tell you. Happened last night. I was sleeping peacefully in my room when all of a sudden I heard this huge sound. <gasps> what the hell? The sound was super loud, so I rushed out of my room. As I went down the hall toward the lounge. Hey! What are you doing? This rock is it's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice! Don't go making all that noise so suddenly! It's not me! The wall clock just started ringing! I was just trying to stop it! Then hurry up and stop it already! I, I, I know! I'm in the middle of doing that! And that's when the sound finally stopped. Uh, Man, that totally freaked me out. Well, I'm definitely wide awake now. What did you do to me? My mental defenses were bombarded with sonic resonance. Think it was this not your doing just now? Shut up! Why would anyone do something so childish? Huh? You must have rushed over after hearing that sound, but you sure seemed to get there pretty fast. Well, yeah. I didn't rush over here. I was at the lounge by coincidence. Coincidence, hmm? Huh? What? Do you doubt me? Hey. Whatever. I don't give a crap, but it's 5:30 a.m. Yeah, thanks to Fuyu Hiko, I woke up early for no reason. I should go back to sleep. Huh? Hmm? What was that sound? What's going on? An earthquake? This pressure. It did not feel like it shook. Hey, 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 hey. There's no way this building is going to collapse, right? Hey, hey Kazuichi, stop clinging to me. Hmm. And that's what happened. I see. So you're the one who was clean to Fuyuhiko. That's obviously wrong. Th that's not the important part. <laughs> and what happened afterward? Did you guys just separate? Hey. We decided to weigh things out. But in the end, nothing else happened. Also. Not just that, we all felt really weak, so we decided to go back to our rooms for a while. <gasps> Tails! How many games are there? How long are they? God damn! Yeah, I pretty much am an exclusive Danganronpa streamer now. It's it's true. Basically, um, this is only the second one. I did the first one. Each game is about 26-ish hours. And considering that I only stream about four hours at a time. But it also... 26 hours is if you're not reading it aloud for everyone. <laughs> because you can speed read it, go a lot quicker. But I'm, I'm, I'm taking my time reading it and all that good stuff. Stopping. Chatting with people like you. And chatting to viewers like you. <laughs> How's it going, Tails? But yeah, so... It is taking a while, I agree. I agree. But we're close to the break. I'm close to the break. As it goes for, I think, six, maybe seven chapters. We're on chapter four. We're at the murder, the trial's next. So chapter four is getting close to being done. And then we just have Ultra Despair Girls, which is shorter. And it's not as long of a reading thing. It's like some kind of third-person shooter, apparently. I, I don't know. It's weird. I'll, and then after that's the anime, but because, you know, anime is copyrighted, I can't just really stream that, so I'm just going to be watching that on my own. Once that's done, then I'll go on to Danganronpa 3. But I can play a different game after that. <laughs> Take a break from streaming, eh? Do one tomorrow. Oh, burned out, eh? That's rough. Well... Oh. So what's burning you out? Just the fact that you're doing it so much, or 
just the, the fact that you have to deal with all of all of us childish morons in your chat constantly demanding your attention Papa Tails, Papa Tails, please, please, entertain us. <laughs> We're so bored. It's also the last bit of relief. Not used to it. Yeah, no, I, I agree. It, it's... Uh, depending on what... If you're used to just gaming alone, just being able to sit back and chill... Relax, go through a game, what do whatever you want. It is it is totally different having to stop constantly being looking over the chat. You, you can't really especially when it's a game that you want to get really into, it's tough because yeah, you're sitting there, you're starting to get into it, but then you're like, okay, I can't get all my attention on that. I got watch chat, watch for alerts, watch for all this crazy stuff. And then on top of that, you have to be entertaining as well. Unless you just be me and you just hope that the game is entertaining enough. <laughs> you just try to go through that. I don't have crazy happy stories. No, sir. There we go. Yes, silly Mike. I have played all the games you play, finish all that. Attention is talking to you guys. Yeah, I hear you. And with this, it's also a little I find it personally hard to play this game at the same time as doing chatting as well. Because... I'm reading it all aloud, but then as you can see already, if I stop the chat, I'm not pro progressing the game, so it comes to be like that little dance in between. Do I stop and chat? How long do I have to chat for? Do I, is it okay with the game being stopped? <gasps> Pacing! Ah! And then it gets rough. There's this, there's so much, so much. Which is, yeah, it's, it's an interesting dilemma. Streaming is... Intriguing that way. Not just that, we all felt really weak, so we decided to just go back to our rooms for a while. Hmm, I see. Yep, what you said just now was extremely important. Thanks to that, I thought of one suspicious person. What? Who are you talking about? Me, of course. Huh? Uh, I mean... Isn't it strange? I was the only one who didn't notice an alarm that was so loud, everyone else came out of their rooms. Well, the same goes for that rumbling noise that you guys heard after that. Are you... Hey, you better not be trying to confuse the shit out of us again. But of course I'm not. For now. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. That for now line is what's making us even more worried. Anyway, it seems there's no doubt that what you guys just told me is a very important clue. The wall clock alarm you heard first, and the rumbling noise that came right after. Now then, how do these noises relate to this case? Wall clock. Yeah. Now, Tails, with you taking that break from the stream, possibly, are you taking a full break from Twitch as well? Or are you still kind of be hanging around in people's chats and stuff? Or are you going to be focusing on your Legos, perhaps? I've been... There's this one... Miniature game. Star Wars Legion, it's... Ugh, this! <laughs> Where you get to build all the miniatures and stuff. Enjoy the rattling of models and random things. Like, you gotta scrape them apart. You know what? Why don't I just do this? <laughs> Put them together so there's like some stormtroopers. And then, of course, you're supposed to paint them. And then it's an actual full game to play as well. Now, I love the Empire and Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars. He's, he's my bae. However, the things I love the most are the Separatists and the droids. And there's an expansion for this that's supposed to have come out already, but they ran into delays. But by the end of October-ish, I'm hoping, they'll be fully out. And then I was half debating doing the stream just, you know, just chatting, putting models together, and doing painting. Still be streams talking rubbish. Ooh, it's all about that rubbish. 
This way there's uh, some nice chill stuff about doing models and painting. And everybody can laugh at my poor painting skills. And then you can sit there and go, Jeez, V. Uh, maybe you should just stick doing games instead. Ugh. Hey, you said you witnessed Nakamaru at sunrise, right? Can you explain that to me in a little more detail? I... I was so hungry yesterday that I couldn't sleep. I figured it was more, nearly morning, so I went to go check the clock in the lounge. Turns out I was totally off. It was still around 5 a.m. Hey. That's when it happened. I heard the sound of the door closing off in the distance. I stuck my head out from the lounge. <laughs> I saw Nakamaru's back. He was about to go down to the first floor. I thought about running after him, but I didn't have the energy or willpower to do it. If I knew something like this would happen, I would have mustered the strength to follow him. Hey, hey. But why would Nekumaru wander off so early in the morning? I... I was wondering about that too. I mean, I already knew I wasn't going to get any sleep. I just sat in the lounge, stared off into space for no real reason, and waited for him to come back. Jeez. That's when the clock in the lounge started ringing. Thanks to that loud alarm, I completely forgot about Nakamaru. Until just now. Then, from the time you saw Nakamaru until the alarm rang, you were at the lounge the whole time? But what were you doing during that time? By chance, were you thinking about everything that's happened so far and getting choked up? <gasps> Was I right? Of course not, asshole! You're completely wrong! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. I thought you were reminiscing about Peko or something. But that can't be, right? After all, you already know how pointless it is to cling to memories of the dead. Yep, I get it now. Thanks to everyone's detailed information, I'm slowly getting a grasp of the situation. If I put events in chronological order, Buyuhiko witnessed Nekumaru at 5 a.m. That's the time Nakamaru apparently went down to the first floor. At 5.30 a.m., the alarm clock in the lounge started ringing. When that happened, you two woke up and left your rooms to go to the lounge where Fuyuhiko was. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Let's make history. Now that I think about it, something might have happened to Nakamaru during that noise. If so, that must have been Nakamaru's final scream before he breathed his last. Hmm... Hold on, if Nekamoro died when we heard that sound, doesn't that mean we have an alibi? Alibi? I mean... When we heard that rumbling noise, we were at the lounge, you know? If that's when the killer murdered Nekamaru, then we have a solid alibi. I get it. Can't argue with that. Hmm, it might be too soon to clear that just yet. We can't be certain unless we first clear up the mystery surrounding that rumbling noise. Hmm, a rumbling noise, huh? Did something heavy fall over or something? Also, based on what everyone just told me, there's another thing I'm curious about. You all heard the alarm clock in the lounge go off just before the rumble. What do you suppose that means? Hey, hey haven't we talked enough? I only really think I should repair the elevator soon. Oh my, you're still here? <laughs> Once the elevator's fixed, I'm not going to let you go anywhere near it. And so, Kazuichi ran down the stairs, complaining for some reason. What should we do now? Ah, there's something I wanted you to do. For the elevator's fixed, there's something I want you to investigate. Huh? What is it? The clocks in the first floor lounges of both Grape House and Strawberry House. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Huh? Hmm? Why? I'll tell you later. Hey, bastard! Fine, but what are you asking me? You can investigate that yourself. I'd investigate myself, but... By the time the elevator is fixed, there's a chance I might not be with you all anymore. Huh? Anyway, I'm counting on you. Bastards, doesn't make any sense. Now then, here comes the main event. There's only one thing I can do for them. I can go to that place for everyone's sake. I can't let them face that danger. I must be the pariah who goes in their place. <gasps> Ooh, we're going to see the danger room. That's it. I should investigate one more time before I head over there. The elevator and the door at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Just in case, it might be good to check and make sure they've really blocked it off. Fine, we'll go take a look. 
as we spin round and round in circles. Go up the stairs. Now, who did the killing, though? That's the interesting part. Oh, look at all these Nekomar. I mean, not Nekomaros. Come on, Akumas. So cute. Okay, so yeah, nothing here, really. All right, down the stairs we go. Wait, what? It's a picture of Ryuhiko. I guess this must be his. What? I can... Nagito is like super powered. Got x-ray vision. He can look at things through the walls. Intriguing. Very intriguing. Clack, clack, clack. Okay, there's Kazuichi. Oh, are still being repaired. Get lost. You stop getting in the way. Uh, looks like I'm disliked. Oh, well, that's understandable. I mean, compared to you talented fellows, I'm just a piece of trash. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I press the button next to the elevator. The door should open so I can ride it. Nothing happens when I press it. Looks like it's definitely broken. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? You're getting in the way of my repairs. Hey, why did the elevator break in the first place? Oh, the killer malfunctioned the safety device. Look, you see that silver cover under the button? Looks like that's the elevator's control panel. They probably opened and messed with the settings. The cover is locked, so they wouldn't have been able to open unless they had some kind of tool. Mm hmm? Are there any tools in this building? Uh, no, there shouldn't be. I don't really know if they forced it open with a tool anyway. The control panel on this side wasn't the one that was forced open. I see. The control panel on the grape house side that's broken, then. Yeah. The one on this side isn't broken. That's the only thing I can think of. I'm pretty sure there should be a control panel over there, too. Plus, the elevator's stuck on the grape house side. Wouldn't that mean the last person who used this elevator went to grape house? Uh. Yep, it's official. The elevator was disabled on the other side. Hey, hey I don't have time to talk to you. Hurry up and go away. I'm trying to do repairs without any tools. No matter how much time I get, it won't be enough. If you don't have any tools, why don't you use this? Whoa. <gasps> Is this a multi-tool? Where did you get something like this? I had it with me before I even arrived at the fourth island. I'm going to explore a new island. It's essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? You serious? A guy like you has been walking around with a dangerous tool this whole time? Huh? Is there something wrong? Uh, eh, it's nothing. Then I'll let you have this. Your repairs might go faster now, right? But in exchange, I want you to do something. Huh? What? Huh? That multi-tool has a compass. After the elevator is fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see how the compass reacts. What the hell for? Well, to be honest, there's something I still don't understand. Regarding the structure of this building, so please, I really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. Huh? Don't really get it, but, well, as long as I'm just checking a compass, I don't mind. I'm glad. Then I'll leave the rest to you. Elevator has been added. Huzzah! Off to the tower. So this is broken. The strawberry hall door that leads to the tower. The button is broken. There's no way it'll open. As I recall, based on what Fuyuhiko told Hajime over the phone, the other side of this door is also barred with chains. They must have been really cautious to go to the trouble of barring the door from both sides. Something about that seems a little suspicious. Let's make history. The killer's intent. I can think of only one explanation. Ah, Gundam. <laughs> Perhaps they intended to keep me from entering the scene of the crime. Listen well. Which means the killer was afraid. 
Afraid of the conclusion promised by my assumptions. Yeah, that was probably it. Just as I thought, there's no mistaking it. The elevator and strawberry hall door look like they're completely broken. I didn't expect the contact elevator to be disabled from Grape House. As long as it's disabled, there's no way to move between houses. Which means the person who disabled the elevator would be stuck at Grape House. That person, they should still be at Grape House, but... No, it's too soon to form an answer. But... I won't be too late to find the answer, even after I finish the investigating that room. Alright, so... Where did the killers start? If they started in Strawberry Hall... They could have pushed the button, made the door open, broke the button, went inside... No... Okay, yeah, if the grape... Because you have to press the button to make it turn around and close the doors so this way they can chain them. So unless they chain them... Closed, so this way they couldn't open... Would they press the button for over here? No. Did they press the button? Okay, the grape doors. Press the grape. I would have had to close. Jeez, yeah, this is confusing. <laughs> okay. Well, enough puzzling. Let's go into that room. The final dead room. The final dead room. Only those who win the life threatening game contained within will reach the octagon. Inside the octagon, the ultimate weapon awaits. There's no doubt Nekamaru's killer has been to that place. No matter where I search, there are no weapons anywhere in this building. Regardless of the weapon used to kill Nekamaru, the killer must have obtained it there. If that's the case, I should get going. Also, unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. That's all the more reason why I should go. He's the ultimate lucky guy anyways, so he should be fine. Well, that's interesting. I see, so this is the final dead room. Well, let's uh, just go ahead and do a little save a Maru here, just in case. Hey, mate, how's this going today? Well, we had another death already, and we're running around finding investigations. Now, the interesting thing is, I'm playing a new character. Well, not a new character, but normally you play as Hajime. I'm now playing as Nagito. What? So that's brand new. They haven't done that in the series before. You were always the same guy the entire time. So I'm curious how long this is going to go. Feels a little eerie. Hope I don't get scared. How's Greedfall? Have you been playing that or have you been totally swapped to a different game? Did the door just lock? I see, the door's designed to automatically lock. It's not... I would have turned back if I st if it stayed unlocked. He doesn't realize since he's pretty much a blank slate in the first game. That is very true. Got the door finally open. Now it's locked again. I figured you'd turn up since I haven't seen you in a while. But I never expected to see you here. Haven't played it since Search 2? <laughs> That's fair enough. I guess that just goes to show how great Search 2 is. It's captivated your attention that well. N Nagito? Huh? Why are you in such a dangerous place? Same to you. Why are you here? I heard the Bahi Discovery announcement, and I thought something happened in this room. And you got locked in when you came inside. You're a fool from head to toe. Oh, I'm truly ashamed. Well, not that I care. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Um, get in your way? The life-threatening game is going to start soon, right? It'd be annoying if you got in my way. Are you planning to do it? 
Well, if I don't, I can't get out of here, right? I get, but it's too fast-paced for Souls fans, I guess. Oh, it's faster action. I like the Souls games because you're always waiting around for the action to come to you. <gasps> Is it? No, well, that's actually very true now that I think about it. In Souls, there isn't very many enemies who do charging, who like run right at you and do charging attacks. There's some. There's some, but most of them are through ambushes. Or just, I'm a big beefy dude, watch out. Whereas the Surge, yeah, as soon as they see you, they like dash over to you and go, yeah, and try to rip out your throat and all that good stuff. So you have to be a little bit more proactive. But that also means I, I'm always more scared about the ambushes in Surge. Because they can mess you up so quick. It's ridiculous. Oof. Still need to finish Surge. One. Last I got... Oh gosh. Yeah, I think you and I were playing at the same time, actually, last I played it. Because I... You were going through the main story, and then I actually branched off and went to the, the DLC, the Creo World. And that's last where I played. I'd gotten a good deal through the Creo World. But then I ended up stopping because I started playing something else. Well, off. What did I start playing? I remember. Never got around to the DLC. Oh, the Creo World was actually a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it so far. From <clears throat> last. Yeah. <laughs> and besides, the only way trash like me can be useful is by risking my life for everyone's sake. You're wrong! Nagito is not trash at all! There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live! I know I'm being heartwarming right now, but my heart is super scared and pounding like crazy! Are you sure you're not just excited? You know, isn't it exciting to think that I can finally be useful for the sake of those who should shoulder hope? Now then, about the so-called life-threatening game. Escape. Oh, interesting. No, you don't. If there's anything you don't get, just ask me. By all means, I'll help you and make sure you get out of here. Give it to me. Bring it on, escape game. That sounds like something a teacher would say, but I shouldn't expect too much from her. Oh, that's... Oh, look, it's like an actual escape game. <laughs> I want to play the AI Somia game too, though. And the nice thing about that one is it actually looks like... It's actually voiced all the way through from what I've seen of it. So I wouldn't have to do the reading, which is nice, even if it, though it is a visual novel. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, and I can't use my... Oh, I can't use my detective vision. It's locked, it won't open. Pliers, huh? These might be useful for something, so I should grab it. Same devs, looks like a mix between those games. The other series, they did the 99. Yes! Hmm, this looks like some kind of password. I got it. The first letters of the days of the week are probably the password. I doubt it's that simple. This television looks broken. Well, it looks like that's everything here. Unless I want to try using the pliers. It'd obviously be impossible to use these to force open the iron bars. That wasn't what I was trying to do! <laughs> Nagido, we have a problem! These iron bars are completely blocking the door! As long as we don't do something about these, these bars, we won't be able to escape from this room. It's Monokuma's plushie. You want me to punish you guys? It looks like this plushie talks when you squeeze the tummy. Thrills, chills, kills. Life size Monokuma, now for the special price of only ten thousand dollars. An advertisement. You want? Me? Oh, okay, so it's the same thing. There's a bed. Something shining under the bed. Hmm, I can't reach it. Looks like this bed is fixed to the floor, so I can't even move it. Is there something long and thin? Yeah, we'll get there. It says, watch the news in blood. Uh, we could cruise just by looking at it. <laughs> it's just a secret code. 
Plus, it's a pretty common one. Secret code? Now you don't even happen to know what this means? Yeah, it's a common riddle. Is this? I've never heard of it. Well, here's the number three. Something written in blood on the wall. Hmm. Looks like it's the number three. These blood symbols alone don't make sense, but maybe if I combine them with something else? I don't know, we have a problem. These iron bars are completely blocking the door. Unless we don't do something about these bars, we won't be able to escape from this room. For those of you who have no interest in playing an escape game, I have prepared a shortcut. What would you like to do? Would you like to take a shortcut and bypass the escape game's riddles? Yeah, we'll try them. It's nice that they give the option, though. I really like that. This must be the unlocking device for the iron bars. I probably have to put in the four-digit passcode. No I have a secret plan! If you put in put 9,999 combinations, it'll open eventually. You're right. But there doesn't seem to be any buttons for inputting a password. Yeah. It looks like it might be under this slid, but it doesn't seem to open. Not just that, what's this red light that's on top of this device? Two... Three... One... Two... No! Alright, let's watch the news! Maybe. Ah, it's a laptop. Looks like it's on, but it's locked. So I can't really access it. Hmm. It looks like you can uh, you can input the password. How are we going to turn it on? What does it look like? So we got three, six, seven. Six. But there was also in here. Wait, where'd the note go? Alrighty. Let's first start by thoroughly searching all the stuff in this room. There should be some useful stuff. Your very best to search through everything. See, so you intend to do nothing. Um. Mm hmm. Just shining out the bed. I can't reach all the bed. Okay. Yeah. How do I choose? Oh, there's a four. Hmm, there's something written blood on the floor. Um, Number four, right? Number, huh? Looks like a different symbol to me. Like, for instance, a symbol that you often see on maps. Oh, I think I saw three. Six. Number six. It's supposed to be something else. Something else. And then seven. I've kind of written blood on the wall. Um, to number seven. That symbols alone a bit. Oh. Well, sure. I would love to combine them with something else. But are unless I have to go over here. I wonder how do you? use items unless it just automatically uses it for you hmm I've got pliers I should be able to use them for something This was also a four-digit code, huh? But it looks like you can change the numbers with this Alrighty. one. That might less work to you, okay? Don't close up. Bastards open this. I have a feeling that the hint is close by. Alright, so what is the hint? Watch the news.
Now, apparently it's a common riddle. I'm not sure what that means. But we do have four numbers here between three, six, seven, four. I guess let's try. Six, seven, four. Hey, babe. Leave it to me. Don't know something. Oh my goodness. In what order would these be? Oh wait, or is that dash or no? Does that mean this would be first? Number and it looks like a different symbol to him. It presents a symbol that you'd often see on maps. I don't recall seeing that symbol on any maps. Well, compass north being like north being this way, pointing north. But I mean, we need four digits. So unless that's, I guess, four, three, six, seven. Oops. For one more time, the letters news show the direction. Wait, what? See, he says it's a common thing, but... Oh, a common riddle. But I've never encountered this riddle once in my life. <laughs> so I'm like, what? Okay. That makes sense. Northeast, southwest. So in which case... This looks like a compass that usually points north, which means this is north. So, north, east, west, south. So, three, six. number over here. Oh, I haven't looked at the door. Derp. There we go. <laughs> oh, the rune blood. Um, Looks like the number five. There we go. I actually, I didn't even see that door there. <laughs> that makes much more sense now. So three, six, five, seven. So I caught on that that was a compass, at least. But yes, thank you, babe. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Three, six, five, seven. Like, that does look like the arrow that would normally point north over this way, right? Yeah, north. So it should be... Unless, because the score underneath, it's actually supposed to be a 9. I bet you it's supposed to be a 9. Because they're being silly that way. Three, nine, five, seven. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was the, the score, I was like, eh. <laughs> hmm, digital camera and USB stick. Ooh. Standard USB stick. Digital camera. Looks like there's no battery inside the digital camera. Lovely. Just lovely.
Yeah, it's a laptop. Okay, it's on, but it's locked. Okay, really. Uh -huh. It's shaped like a key. With this, I might be able to unlock the laptop. Oh, yes, that's what I was trying to do. Locks the camera. Yes, it's it. Uh huh. Okay, digital camera. That's what was inside the safe. It's not powered by a rechargeable power supply. Regular like battery. Well, regardless, it won't turn on at all since no battery to begin with. Wow. We could probably grab a battery from this thing. Let's crush it. Yep, it talks. Yes, we know. Oh, it's shaped like a key, it said. Right? Yes? Maybe? Maybe? Hmm. Nothing in there. We have no more business with this. Oker doker. Television looks broken. Still haven't found what to do with the pliers. Let's double check this closet and make sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, a hanger! Yes, actually. I Oh wait, what's this? Can I grab this? No. Can I grab this hanger? There's one hanger hanging in the closet. It might be useful for something, so I should grab it just in case. Perfect. Okay. So I was able to grab the hanger. Because I'm going to need that. Did I get my voter stuff? Are you talking about the... the... federal election? The advanced... Yes, I, I did get that. So I'm going to have to go start researching that stuff a bit more. They always like to make all kinds of things. Yeah, it's tough because for, I think, what was it? You usually only ever vote one way in Winnipeg here. <laughs> Shining. Mm hmm. Yep. Thin and long, yes. Yes, it's right here. Thin stick. Yes. I want you to do that. Oh, do I... Okay, I can't choose to combine to make it, to undo it. Why, set item. Oh, okay, there we go. There! Oh my gosh, okay. I've been wanting to do. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we can go like this. Use pliers on the hanger. Chained wire. There we go. It never told me that. 1% liberal voters. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whenever would I not want to do Donald? You know, clearly I should be playing some more Kingdom Hearts again. Obtain the desk key. There we go. Now we're moving. Now that I know how to freaking use items, <laughs> it makes such a big difference. Ooh, scissors. I'm sorry. Yes, no, we cannot use scissors to cut the iron bars, bottom. You useless. <laughs> Alright. No, oh, okay, so I've gotta go bloop. Just as I thought, looks like I was able to unlock the lock with his USB stick. Now I need to put in the password next. Maybe the memo that was inside the desk drawer might help with the laptop tester. Got it! It's the first letters of the days of the week! Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, meeting, it's MTW TFSS. Error. <gasps> it was wrong! I doubt it's that simple. All right, so now if we go in here, right, ah, that you can go bloop. Does there be any buttons for input and password? Does it open? Not just that. Yes, I know that's why I wanted to use that. 
find it. Can I use this? No. Okay. Couldn't really do that. So what else is left to look at here? Oh! Right. I could probably use this to open this. Oh, a Kuma Bear. Is this useful too? Oh, why? Oh, maybe I need to cut it open. Stocking might be powered by a battery. All right, let's try cutting it open. Yeah, I didn't eat any grannies. What a loud thing. Cut it open right away. Oh, so there was something. In the batteries. <laughs> I put these into the camera. Oh, use the digital camera. Yay! Like the picture that's inside. Looks like a photo of a space poster that's posted on a wall somewhere. Oh, dear lord. Hmm, I wonder what it means. Well, I'll tell you what it means. Yes, you do have business with this. A Saturn, Mercury... No, wait. Hmm. Yeah, because it starts with the sun. I wonder if I can go bloop, bloop. There we go. Oh. Fine. Now, can I manually enter the password? Because I think I understood. Ah, yes, the answer must be... Goodness, okay. Back up. I didn't want to do it. Yeah. All right, so... I'm guessing we have to go in the order then? Yeah, I guess it's going to be what is it? S M V E M J S. Either it's going to be that or it's going to be backwards. Oh gosh. It's going to be a lot of tick tack and back and forth. No! Stop! Can I just type it? Oh, I can! Oh, thank you. S M P -E, e M J S. Oh, yeah. Is this Othello? Hmm. Is this Othello? Well, now. So I don't know, just feel free to ask me any time. Actually represent the number? I think so. I use the signal book on the left. Oh, the decipher. Um, you know the number, how will you be able to input it? It's only one thing in this room that you can input a number into, right? Oh, wait. So three, one, two... Okay, wait. Okay, so it's gonna start over. Dot space dot dot. So dot space. But there's no dot space dot dot. Oh, so it's whichever one's dark then. That first one? Okay. So we've got a two for the first one.
And then... Two, two... So that'd be four. Oh, wait. Two on the right, two on the left. Whoop, no! That's not even close. So confused. Hello? Oh, it's binary, isn't it? Oh, one. Oh, one. One, one. Oh, oh, one. I am trying to figure out... So what is it then? It's... it's... The last one is dot dot... No, it's not binary? Oh, okay. Never mind that. Because we've got this one, where- oh, no, no, stop! That's even simpler, okay. This is why I don't play puzzle games. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. So we're three where it shows there's the dots there. I need the ones with the two dots on the bottom. isn't any because that's like two on the right two on the left Well, it's a four-digit code. Because that's it resetting. Because there's the dot, empty, dot, dot. And then a dot, then two dots, two dots. So I think I got, for the first one, the number two. Because there's a light, blank, light, light. So I think the empty circles mean the lights are on. Five. Wait, what? I don't understand how you got... Oh. How do you get the 5442? But the way that I'm going for it doesn't the last one because with the two dots and two dots doesn't work at all because I'm I'm looking at the lights up and down. Oh, hey, honey bear! Thanks for the lurk. See, I can see the two. Leave it to me. Hmm. 
Oh, you know what? Because I'm not understanding this. I could always talk to her. Happened. I could tell I want people to get out of here. That was irrelevant. I'm just showing a picture of the red lights on the device that's next to the iron bars. We'll see how the device blinks and compare it to the picture. Hey, cheese. Each dot's a lot easier. The only way I can see it with it representing a proper number is if it's going the up down. Going sideways, it's Now it was uh it's it's interesting being inside his head, I'll I'll say that. <laughs> It just throws me off just because it's uh, two dots on left, two dots on right. Yes, it has happened, Cheese. We're in the investigation right now. Hmm. Add in game as well. Maybe. Like they give you the first two and then they've got... Hmm. One digit. So like, one, three, five, and seven. Going to input it in here. Oh. Let's try your two, four, four, five. Five, four, four, two. Nope. Not that either. Dot, blank, dot, dot. Then a single, then two, and two. Oh, wait. The arrow's pointing that way. So we should look at this screen here. There were no hints. <laughs> like, yeah. hmm, if you don't know, so I don't know. Yeah. 
It just says, look at the flashing lights. It says, look at the flashing lights, the lights will tell you. And then I guess right here, this is your hint that it's actually supposed to start from the right and go to the left. And what's confusing... Talk enough. I definitely should practice it. Just, just don't think about anything. Try inputting 9875 in the save. Well, 9875? How did I even get that number? The nine, two dots, two blanks, versus that one that has three. I have no clue how the heck they even get that. That makes no sense. Add them. Uh... XOXX X, X, and so on. Oh. Yeah. Did you hear something? So this is the unlocking device. The unlocking device! Using gimmicks that were already used as conserve energy. Oh wait, that was him at this point. Whoops, wrong one. Can I use this in here? <gasps> it worked! Didn't know about the flashing part? Yeah, the... I don't know. Oh. Wait, what? Yay, looks like we cleared it. <laughs> With our powers combined, we were able to clear the life-threatening game. Who cares about clearing it? Why does the exit feel like it's not opening? Hmm? Hmm? What do you mean it won't open? Oh, uh... Are you serious? It's not opening. Did I just tell you that? Yeah. It's not just the exit, even the door we entered isn't opening. Maybe the game isn't over yet. C could it be? Just, that thing I found earlier was just joking around? Seems like you have something on your mind. Um... um when I first arrived in the room, I received a letter. Letter? I'm sorry. I thought it was just a prank, so I didn't have a chance to tell you. Enough with the excuses. Hurry up and show it to me. Um, Hey there, Art. Like, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, yes, it's this. Solve the mystery of the final dead room, and you will obtain the right to play the life-threatening game. About the life-threatening game, it's life-threatening roulette! P.S. You are held liable for setting the roulette's difficulty. Depending on the difficulty, I've prepared special prizes, but make sure you don't overdo yourself. Hmm, I see, so that's what it meant. Um, what does it mean? Since the games up till now were just the opening act. From this point on is the real performance. Well, what we're going to do so that we don't have to do all that crap again? A save. I know, I was like, Nagito playing Russian roulette? Psh, load all of them in except for one chamber. He'll get, he'll be fine. Except one round of the hand. Here, round, round, round. Uh -huh. Life-threatening roulette? That's probably like Russian roulette. See, a gun came out from there. Which means I have to use that to play Russian roulette, right? Hey. Russian roulette? Then allow me. You can't! No matter what, it's too dangerous. Hey, Monami, there's something I wanted to ask you. In all honesty, 
I don't really understand the rules of Russian roulette. Hey. Ah, if that's the case. Load one bullet into the cylinder, then spin it. After that point, point the gun towards you and pull the trigger. You can't! Wait, you can't do that! There's a 1 in 6 chance you'll die! 1 in 6 chance of death, which means the failure rate is only 1 6. Load all the bullets. Exactly, that's what I was thinking. Just load it all. Because it said the difficulty depends on you. And the better the difficulty, the better the prize. So. Oh, good jam. <laughs> Knowing Monokuma, though, that, would, that wouldn't count. And he'd have to go until it properly clicks. Hey, is that rule really okay? Huh? I mean, if there's only a 1 6 chance of failing, wouldn't the game be too easy? So, shouldn't it be the opposite? Remove one bullet from the gun and then use it while there are still five bullets loaded? If you do that, there will be a 1 6 chance of success. Yep, that would definitely make it a more thrilling game. That's... What are you saying? Let's give it a go! Oh, Nagito. Uh, hold on, Nagito. What are you doing? And what am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. I've only removed one bullet. So there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. You, you can't. Please stop. Oh dear. It's not much of a talent, but even I have an ultimate level talent, you know? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm the ultimate lucky student. But if I can't win when there's only a one in six chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, there's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Isn't that right? Please, stop! Hmm. Oh boy. Ah, that sound just now. That was the door unlocking, right? Hey, Flora. Hello, hello. Welcome. Ah, looks like we finally cleared the final dead room. Uh, I'm scared of you, Nagito. Hmm, really? Oh, well, let's go. The octagon should be just beyond that door. I find it intriguing that he didn't take the door with- Oh my god! So this is the octagon, huh? They weren't kidding when they assumed it was an armory. Jeez! What a distorted room. Congratulations, Nagito! Everyone should be scared of him. Yeah. He's here! Congratulations on clearing the final dead room! And you even challenged yourself at the highest difficulty with only a 1 6 chance of success! Here! I have a modest present for someone like you! Now then, this first! Place 5 6 roulette right in front of you. I don't think anyone would be horrified. Yeah, not to mention, especially because usually that means it goes to the next person. So... <laughs> Is this the Future Foundations file? Didn't we already get this when we were at the roller coaster? Uh -huh. Well, just think of it as an extension of that. Extension? Hey, hey. You, what are you giving without permission? Hmm. Let's see, and one more special prize. Here you go. This crest, is this Hope Peak Academies? <laughs> That's right, this file. It contains your student profiles from your time at Hope's Peak Academy. Being their profiles that you guys don't even remember. Your time at Hope's Peak Academy, huh? But after all this time, I still can't believe- Oh, jeez, you weren't here. Okay. So, more updates. I believe, after something that Chiaki said, that she's the traitor, she was mentioning about how no matter what happens, she can never stop, but it keeps happening again and again. Which, if it's my simulation theory, if she's the traitor going into the simulations, he's trying, trying to stop things from happening. But the fact that it still happens all the time. It, it, it ties in quite well. 
Because we haven't really seen her trying to stop things from happening, just help with the trials. So that's my that's my guess. All this time, I still can't believe it. You mean the matter concerning your stolen school memories? I mean, a no good person like me actually spent time with everyone else at Hope's Peak Academy? No, that's impossible. If that's true, how did I feel? Surely, I would have spent my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. Monokuma's the traitor? Nah, he's a virus. Jeez, whether you're upbeat or depressed, I still don't understand you at all. Oh well. Anyway, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is up to you. Thanks. I'll take a long look at it later. So if I look at these profiles, I'll be able to find out what Hajime's hidden talent is too. Depression and even you're not that bad? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I've, well... It depends. Depends, I suppose. On the person, and how they deal with the depression, and how they feel it. But then again, would Hajime... No, would Nagito be more of a self-esteem... rooted issue? Hmm. Probably be happy about it. Yay! Someone like me was finally useful. Hmm? What are you laughing about? Well, I just thought it was ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you was the one who obtained Hostpeak Academy's student profiles. I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. What does that mean? <laughs> what? Well, looks like things are gonna get interesting. <laughs> yes, Nagito, you might be the one who makes things much more interesting. I don't really know what you're talking about. Hey, what are you planning? What's written in there? Like... Anyway, Monami. Hey, hey. No cheating. You haven't reached the end yet. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't played Russian Roulette yet. Um, but but Nagito already did it. What are you saying? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It'll be a revenge of the final dead room. No version. Jeez, they're gone. In the end, I still don't understand what Monokuma was talking about. But for now, I'll leave this file for later. First, I need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. I see, so there are lots of firearms here too. Handguns and grenade launchers even. I don't see anything that looks like it could be the ultimate weapon. I wonder where that so-called ultimate weapon is. Axe swords, hammers, metal wires, up ah, metal wires. A lot of items here that could have been used as weapons. So I'm saying that looks like it'd be the ultimate weapon. I wonder what that so-called ultimate weapon is. Do, 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 do. A window? Why is there only one window in a place like this? Is there some kind of hidden meaning to it? But in actuality, what could it mean? <laughs> in my mind, I entertained various possibilities as I walked slowly toward the window. And then the moment I peeked out that window, what? Uh -huh. This is what I actually saw outside that window. It's completely different from any possibility I had in mind. <laughs> I see, so that's what it was. When I saw outside this window, I start piecing together and think about it. Yeah, I see. It seems I'm finally starting to get a larger perspective of the funhouse with this. Gee, thank you, Nagido, for letting us know. Refrigerators? Refrigerator? Here? I was expecting to find drinks in it, but when I opened the door and peeked inside, I see there are poisons stored in here. You could secretly kill everyone with poison. In a way, it can't be considered the most powerful weapon, but in that case, you'd have to ignore the rules. There's a door on the floor? Real funhouse? What's the word of the day? Well, we haven't come up with a safe word, so I, I can't quite say. 
Is this on the first floor of Strawberry House? Could this door lead underground? Based on the sketch, there shouldn't have been a bunker. No, maybe what lies beyond this door? Aha, things are finally getting interesting. Amazing. I was expected of a place that cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks to how I arrived here, all the separate pieces seem to have connected together in one fell swoop. Pee-wee's Playhouse? I actually have not. No. I know who he is, and I think there was a talking couch? And... Is there a genie? But that's about it. That is about all I know. And then I know of what happened to uh, Pee Wee Herman afterward. With the, what was it, public urination? <laughs> ah, Mecca like a hi, Mecca, hi, ni ho. I know that. <laughs> now, if we're talking about Blues Clues, Blues Clues, I know about that. I know about Arthur. I know about <laughs> a lot of other things that I think were younger. I don't know. I think Pee Wee came after my time. Anyways. <laughs> a chain reaction culminating the truth, all thanks to just one clue. <laughs> I know that, that now is not the time to enjoy things, but this is definitely a good feeling. The word of the day. So when someone says that word, you have to scream. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> Especially that window. That's right, everything became connected from there. And so that window, I realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon and the funhouse. Now all I have to do is tell everyone else about this. Before I do that, I should finally take a look at the file I received from Monokuma. Especially if it's everyone's student profiles from their time at Hope's Peak Academy. That's important. Cautiously open the file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Careful. Huh? Oh, so when someone says in this game, huh? You go, ah! Hey. Hey, hey. Can you hear me? Oh, I was right! Can you hear me? <laughs> I was right, can you hear me? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, did you say something? It's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyuhiko. I wonder if the elevator's been fixed yet. It'd be bad if we were still split up before the class trial, so maybe we should call them one more time. Hey, are you even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. S sorry. So what are you going to do? You're right, I'm worried about them too. Let's try calling Strawberry House one more time. Think. Yeah, that's a great idea, I think. Yes. Wait, what? Huh? How did he pop up in the lounge? But he is gone, it is true. This We're currently trying to find out how. We're in the investigation phase of him right now. Why, hello there, Hajime. Nagito, why are you here? Because <laughs> I showed up. You showed up? How did you even come here? Maybe I... Teleported. Huh? I get a sudden appearance. Well then. <laughs> hey, answer me seriously. How were you able to come to this side? Okay. Alright, do that. There's something I need to tell you guys. There is? I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. I'll give you the those details first. Let's hurry this up. We're being abruptly interrupted by Nagito. Chiaki and I learned about the results of his investigation of Strawberry House. Elevator. Strawberry Hall's button. Oh man, halfway there. Wait, what's halfway there? What's that mean? What's that? Oh. Right through level 50. Oh, so this is max level 100. Well, I guess these were pretty important. Especially the fact that everyone in Strawberry House heard that rumbling noise too. But what was that about the wall clock alarm going off before that happened? Also, the fact that Strawberry Hall's button was broken is definitely worth noting. Hey. 
Also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. I've cleared the final dead room. Huh? Could it be? You did the life-threatening game? Wow. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape room that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? Um... It's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you, and pull the trigger. So, he really did it. Man. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So, it would have been fine if I had only used one bullet, huh? This is just as Monami said. Huh? Huh? Actually... I misunderstood and thought I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder. So that's how I did it. Th that, you only had one sixth chance of surviving! Well... But I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. What's wrong with him? I knew he was strange from the start, but for him to casually do something so suicidal? It's crazy, that's all there is to it. Anyway, because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. And one of those rights <laughs> was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't even need to play the game again. Move back and forth? Where would you even be able to do that, and how? Hey, Ajime, you stay quiet. you've been repeating yourself over and over, and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the roulette at the highest difficulty. I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. But that's... Is that the future foundation file? Yep. Yeah, it's a continuation of the file received at the roller coaster. Continuation? There's even more detailed information about the killing school life that was in the earlier file. The killing school life. I mean, the killings that took place at Host Peak Academy, right? As I recall, Byakuya was one of the students who participated in it. <laughs> but even in we. When we learn more about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. But there was information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people that I don't even know. Right? Besides, Byakuya, of course. It's just as I thought, the Byakuya was the Byakuya we knew, right? What? However, I can't say the information was completely useless. In truth, there are similarities between the killing school life and this killing school trip. You deserve better, I... It's true. It's true! Similarities? Um, For example, the first murder involved someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. Hey. The second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group. <laughs> and the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. What do you guys think about these strange similarities? It's definitely strange. I can't think of these as coincidences, especially if Monokuma is behind the motives and driving the murders. What are you trying to say? Hey. By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled as a suicide. Huh? <laughs> Whether that means something or not, it's something each person should think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. Truth? Are you sure you're not just trying to confuse us? Jeez. Sakura. Yep. Jeez, your complaints just never end, do they? Oh, am I the ultimate complainer? <laughs> if I talk like that, I won't, I won't want to tell you anymore. I even learned what your talent is, too. Huh? Well, well if I wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma, this is another one. That seal. Yep. Indeed, it's the Hope's Peak Academy School Crest. Perhaps. Does that have information about our stolen memories? How unfortunate. Fortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. J just mine? Why? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? Jeez. It's quite troubling that you would ask me that. I must say, it's always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. Right? That ends now. Are you serious? Did you really find out why I was chosen by Hope's Peak Academy? Man. No way, it's just as Chucky said. Hajime's existence is special. Because you were just some reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Well, 
Unlike the primary department for main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for reserve course students who enter the school through a basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute on the second string. Well, even then, that's just a name only. The reserve department pretty much only exists to increase Hope Peak's academy's revenue stream. Reserve department? Substitute? Second string? Revenue stream? W what is he saying? By revenue stream, he's misbeating. <laughs> Gotta pay to win. Like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just need to pay a rather costly entrance fee in tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the academy can focus on bolstering research and talent. <laughs> Through this, the symbols of hope can be raised, right? which means you're just a stepladder, but you should feel honored. Average, talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. The hell does that mean? Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire Hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Hope's Peak Academy? Or maybe you were just obsessed with Hope's Peak Academy like a fangirl following the latest trend. It's not like that, I wanted to become Hope. If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully, the only humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. No mistake. It's nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. You don't even know. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Were you so blinded by your admiration for Host Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? Gah. You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. Nobody who forgot he was a nobody, that's all. Then I... I'm just... <laughs> that's right, you were never an ultimate. You had no talent whatsoever. I... I don't have any talent? I'm just an ordinary high school student? Man. I feel so sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? That's not it. But still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly unremarkable high school student, there's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. Hmm. But it's not Hajime. And who in the world could the traitor be? The survivor of the previous killing school life, Byakuya, would have been the most likely candidate. Now, that's probably impossible. Hey. hey are you listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Huh? Well? It may be important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mekamaru's murder first. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone's going to die together anyway. In that case, would the traitor be amongst those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Yep. Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey. You said you cleared the final dead room and turned those files. That means you must have gone to the octagon, right? Hey. You curious about the ultimate weapon? So... Did you find out what it was? <sighs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared that ruin. I'm free to divulge any clues I obtained there as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it a secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Man. Like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since this began. How many times must I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine even brighter. Mm. What you're saying doesn't make any sense at all. Just tell us already. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez. Guess I have no choice. I suppose I can tell you one little tip. You're right, I did go to a place that seemed to be the Octagon. I found many different weapons there. I didn't find anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. Don't lie, there's no way that's possible. Come from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. What did you say? Oh. Fine, I understand. Now's not the time for us to be fighting anyway. You won't tell us, we gotta do it ourselves. Now, shall we go back to investigating Mekamaru's case? Better hurry, the class trial is going to start soon. You're right. You're right, I haven't even seen the crime scene. Also, the guys in Strawberry House should be coming over this side any moment now. now. Then, while we're at it, I'll go on ahead. Hey. Hey, Hajime. It's, it's okay. I already know. You want me to focus on Nakamaru's case right now, right? It's true that I'm shocked, but now's not the time for me to feel like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. 
need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yep. Yeah, I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving then. Yeah, you're right. I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekamaru's case. Which means we need to go to... Busters! <laughs> <laughs> I have returned from the depths of hell. Gundam? Yo. Yo, sorry we're late. Bro. Just so you all know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> See, it's just as I said, right? Hey, hey! Hey, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here. Hey. More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Huh? Huh? Oh, well, that thing about the compass? Look into it while it's coming here, but I think that compass might be broken. You stay quiet. Don't ask for your opinion. Just tell me the results. <laughs> huh? Well. Compass needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. Needle rotated 180? So what? Yep. So it's essentially, the rooms are right beside each other, and the elevator just goes and turns like that, and that's it. <laughs> I see, it's just as I thought. Huh? Hey, what do you mean by that? That's well, obvious. obviously, the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. Elevator rotated? Now then. I should go investigate Nakamaru's body. As if he were thumbing his nose at us, Nagato began making his way toward Grape Tower. Oh my. What the hell is wrong with him? Doesn't he seem pissed off or something? Nagato, what do you know? How much do you know? Hey, hey. That's not just like a tardy detective. What are you talking about? See? The trope in mystery games, they always come to the crime scenes late just to make an important discovery, but they can never reach the truth of the case. They just end up feeding the main character's assumptions. Yep. In Nagato's case, he's not the type to feed anyone, he'll just make things even more complicated. It's true, he's such a troublesome person. But lately, I feel like he's been acting weirder than usual. Well? I don't think a new discovery is bad, though. He might be able to find something we completely overlooked. Alright, fine, I guess that means we need to go over here. Nakamaru, are you serious? Damn it. I don't know who did this, but this is pretty screwed up. Hey. Now's not the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. Well, we've already investigated everything we can here. Oh. No, you haven't. There's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Mikan is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Right. But Kazuichi should be able to disassemble the body, right? Huh? Eh? It cannot be. Is that true? Are you going to disassemble Nakamaru's body? I won't forgive screw you. with me. It's Coach Nakamaru. Hasn't Ka Coach Nakamaru been through enough already? You don't know. Through enough? We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know Akane? Maybe you don't care about what happened to Nakamaru. D damn it! Why you? You stay quiet. You suck at using your brain. And you really want to know who the killer is? Try not to interfere so much. Come on, Kazuichi. What are you standing there for? Uh, fine, I just have to do it, right? I know I said I want to see his insides, but not like this. This is just too much. Well, Come on, are you guys feeling okay too? Now's not the time to be staring into space. Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I have no talent, but it seems like that's not entirely the case. His attitude towards everyone else is strange now too. But why? Because there's no hope to be found. Because this was a suicide. Now's not the time to look away. We need Kazuichi to disassemble Nekomaru's body. Oh, fine, we'll talk to him. Damn it! I've come so far, there's no way I can get sentimental at a time like this. I feel awful for Nekomaru, but this is necessary if we're going to find out the truth behind this case. As he forced out his voice through his clenched teeth. As we should face Nekomaru, his eyes full of determination, and began stabbing his tool knife into Nekomaru's body. Huh? Where'd you get that tool knife? Huh? Naido gave it to me. He said he had it ready before we even went to the amusement park. 
So Nagito did that too. It's like, Nagito has full control of the situation. Looks like the damage to his head is the reason. Huh? The reason Nakamaru died. I mean, stop functioning. His torso is covered in huge dents, and his parts are dislocated. Hmm, maybe a gear shaft broke too? Well, for now, I tried disassembling Nekomaru's chest. That should help us learn something, right? If that's the case, I need to look at Nekomaru's body one more time. Look! Apparently, Kazuichi's finished disassembling Nekomaru's body. I should probably check it out one more time. Go check the head. Something protruding from the back of his neck. Yep, still the same thing. Yeah, it's just the chest then. When his chest panel is open, the clock inside is completely exposed. The hands of the clock look like they're pointing to 7.30. Also, looks like the clock's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Which means this clock broke the moment the alarm started ringing at 7.30 a.m. But 7.30 a.m. is strange, right? I mean, we should have arrived at Grape Tower just before 7 a.m. Monokuma Tai Chi. But remember how Monokuma said that everybody ditched? Eh? Eh? Is clock malfunctioning? No, wait. Highly efficient radio clock! Radio clock? It's a type of clock that receives radio signals so it can automatically update the time at fixed intervals. Simply put, it's an extremely accurate clock. That's right, it's a clock that will never slow down. It's even designed so it cannot be adjusted. Haha, <laughs> I've become a Type Lord! Well, even if it's an accurate clock that they didn't need to install inside your body. What are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again? There's nothing more useful than this. Accurate radio clock that never slows down, huh? If that's the case, why does this broken clock say 7.30 a.m.? What's wrong with him? He's crouching over Nekromo's body, and it seems almost like he's glaring at him. You're the worst. This is the worst. Huh? Jeez. He has overlooked an important clue. I swear, you're just the worst. I thought, there's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? Well... I this under a fragment of the pillow that tipped over. <sighs> is this a doorknob? You don't even know? Looks like the screws came out with it. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Plus, it looks like there are scratches near the base of the doorknob. Hey. Do you think it's strange? See? I sat in the far back door in Grape Tower. The doorknob is still intact, right? I didn't mention it. You're right. Now then. If that's the case, where did this doorknob come from? If it's not the door that leads to Strawberry Hall, then there's only one other possibility. Have to be the door connected to Grape Hall that we enter from, right? Well, well, it makes sense to think about it like that. <laughs> we should try it out. Well, how? I don't know. Take the elevator, to Strawberry House, and we enter Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall. It's the only way we can see the other side of that door, right? But the button to open the door in Strawberry Hall is broken, right? It's obvious. We just repair it. After all, we have the ultimate mechanic on our side. Well. Oh, you're right, but I need parts to repair the door in Strawberry Hall. I can repair it if it's broken, but I don't have enough parts. There's not much I can do about it. <laughs> but you have plenty of parts right here. Huh? Hmm? See? Let's use Nekomaru. I'm sure if you dig through his body, you can find parts you can use. Well, hold on! Are you saying we should use parts from our dead friend? <laughs> Called recycling! It's a much better alternative than disposing it with the rest of the junk, right? Junk? Hey. Well, Kazuichi... The possible or an impossible. Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but... Seriously, hold on! If we do repair that button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Huh? Chain? The door leads to Strawberry Hall. There's a chain wrapped around the doorknob. If you fix the button on the Strawberry Hall side, the door won't open as long as that chain is there. <laughs> Don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? Don't need to worry, what does that mean? Now then. Kazuichi, we should go over to Strawberry Hall so you can repair the door. Yeah, I'm not finished. <laughs> Ajime, you're going to come later too, right? 
really bothersome if you didn't. I mean, if there's someone in the tower, the door won't open at all. Right. You should at least make sure you're not pulling my leg. You're tersely saying that. Now you to left the area. Broken door knob. Huh? What the hell happened to him? He seems on an edge about something. Mm, who knows? Damn right. That reminds me. Now I gotta ask Kazuichi to do something weird for him, right? Yep. Nothing to do with how the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what it could mean. Ashley, to tell you the truth, now you to ask me to do something weird too. Let me investigate all the clocks inside both buildings. The clocks? I, I did what you said and checked them all, but none of the clocks had their times messed up. Jeez. But why did you ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get that bastard at all. For now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower 2? On with the doorknob matter, there are still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of those mysteries. Maybe. Jeez. You're Looks like that's all we can do. Let's head over. Right. Nagido said about the door opening. What is he planning to do about the chain? It won't come off easily. So, does Nagido have a plan or something? I don't understand this at all. To the strawberry tower. Thanks to Kazuichi, the elevator is working out. Alright, let's go! Cool. We walked into the elevator and made our way to Strawberry House. It's been a while since I've come to the Strawberry House. What's up? Hey, you're here! Hey, hey! Kazuichi, how'd the repairs go? <laughs> yeah, well, the damage wasn't too bad once I got the part, so I was able to fix it right away. You? Well, a lot of nerves saying that when you use Necromorph's parts without my permission. Hey, hey! Well, I mean, even so. Now then. Anyway, now that we're all here, why don't we hurry up and try it out? What will happen if you press the button to Strawberry Hall's door? Even so... There's no way I'll open. You haven't done anything about the chain. Hey! The door to Strawberry Hall behind Necromo's body was blocked off by the chain, remember? You didn't do anything about that. It doesn't even matter if you fix the button on the outside. Well, we'll know if we try it out. It's not even worth trying it out. Now we've all come this far. He's saying we should try it out, then we should give it a shot. Yep. Yeah, that'd be great. My guess is it's the outside rooms that rotate around the tower, not the tower rotating. Oh, this door will open, not when the other side is chained up. Feeling of resignation, I press the button. Huh? Hey, hey. Why did it open? Impossible. Where did the chain go? Hold, it. Hold on a sec, that's not the only thing that's strange. That's right, there's no other way to say it. This definitely looks weird. So... What do you mean, huh? Hey, hey. Hey, doesn't this all look the same as when we were in Grape Tower? Yeah, you're right. When we were inside Grape Tower, Necromora's body was in front of the far back door. means his body should be in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. If we enter from Strawberry Hall, his body should be right in front of the door as we walk in. Why isn't it like that? Why is Nakamura's body in front of the door to Grape Hall? Hey, hey. Just that, the parts that I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. Mm. The body isn't the only thing that moved, even the tripped over pillar and the spilled oil. They all moved the exact same way. The crime scene looks identical to how we saw it when we entered from Grape Hall. Everything that was at the crime scene inside Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. As if it all rotated 180 degrees, right? Can't imagine that the floor actually rotated 180 degrees, but... Is that really what this means? No, it's more than that. I feel like there's an even greater mystery here. Mystery so great that it could drastically affect the outcome of the case. We might have to rethink this. We might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. I see. 
the chain disappeared. The strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> up just as I thought. It's definitely the right choice to confirm this. This is you thought? Then you already knew about this mystery? You have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating first? See? Door in the far back with a picture of a grape on it. Maybe there's a clue hidden there. Hidden on the door, you say? Well, let's take a look. The door with the picture of grapes on it. This should lead to Grape Hall. Wait, huh? One of the doorknobs is gone? It's like the screws came out with it. Now then. The same as that doorknob that was on the floor. See? The screws came out with it, right? The doorknob next to Nekamaru's body came off the door to Grape Hall. Well, that's what it looks like. You said clue, were you talking about this? But what is the clue to? What? Huh? Did you get even more confused? <laughs> no need to worry, just one clue will change everything. Hmm? All the mysteries will be solved as if everything were linked together. If you can reach it. Just like I did. What does that mean? Then I've asked him that. Nagato probably won't give me an answer. It'll just be a waste of time to ask. Hmm. <gasps> oh no! It appears that it's time for the class trial! To tell you the truth, I'm tired. Extremely tired! I feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already! Man, I know it's bad, but I'm so sleepy! I just want to ditch. <sighs> Though I really don't feel like it. I'll show you my serious side when you come to the class trial. Even though it's impossible since it's so annoying, you can count on me to take this seriously. Oh, a serious Monokuma. Looks like it's going to start. Another class trial! Hey, hey! What? How are we supposed to get to the trial ground? Damn it! All right, we can't do anything unless we get out of this building. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um... Can't it? Did something happen? Hey, hey! No, oh, well, do you guys hear something? Hear something. Hey, hey. What did you hear this time? Suddenly, as if cutting off Chiaki, our surroundings started to shake and rumble. And then, it suddenly appeared before us. Okay, then. Is he telling us to go inside from here? Seems that way. Wait, I'm gonna go! Just hold on, Nekamaru. I'm make sure I avenge you. Jeez. Well, cautious, it's obviously a trap. I agree, I detect the scent of danger. Even my familiars are saying, do not go inside. Oh, interesting. If you can kill me, you're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my fairy heart. Now then, shall we get moving as well? Yep. Yeah, you're right. Uh, it's annoying, but if Miss Sonya's going, there's no way I'm not going to go. Uh, that's so damn annoying. Guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. One by one, everyone went into Monokuma Rock. Until I was the only one left, and when I was about to take a step forward... <laughs> we're the same. The same step ladders. Huh? Nagato was suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked onto the Monokuma rock. Other than the small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly still. Well, you and I are just stepladders. For everyone who holds the title of ultimate, I always believed that I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. Well, what are you saying? Man. That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time. But from that... True hope would be born. I always believed that the talents that survived would be true hope. But it wasn't. There's no hope among amidst all this killing. Uh, of course there is. What kind of hope comes from killing people? What? Really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? But you're wrong. 
It's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. Isn't that right? After all, that's what it means to live, right? There's no way I'm going to accept that. Well, well it's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyway. Hey. There's this one novel I like. It's a peculiar mystery story. Huh? Novel? Um... The story is told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. But when you get to the end... <laughs> surprise, surprise, the girl was actually the killer. Of course, the story's written carefully so the reader doesn't learn the ending in the middle of the story. The protagonist is just a projection of the reader, and this projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along. How do you feel about novels like that? The heck are you talking about? You're just jumping from one topic to another. And I can't comment on a book that I've never read before. No good at all. Such a normal answer. I should have expected that from a talentless reserve course student like you. <laughs> but I know that you don't matter at all, so why do I care about you? You admire hope. I love hope. Right? In some ways, we're similar, but maybe that difference is what's making me so emotional. Enough already. I don't have time to argue with you. Everyone's waiting. Man. Everyone, huh? So you still believe you're just like everyone else? These of course, students are so full of themselves. <laughs> Nakado's chilling laugh continued as he disappeared into Monokuma Rock. Calm down. That's right, I need to calm down. I took several deep breaths, and once my nerves had settled, I stepped into Monokuma Rock. The elevator shook violently as it descended at an ever-increasing speed. Hey. And we're in a normal elevator that shakes this bad. Reminds me how efficient the elevator in the funhouse was. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. The elevator continued to shake. I descended deeper and deeper, and suddenly, it stopped, like it always does. And the door opened. I understand your desire to applaud this wonderfully vulgar trial ground. But it's so exhausting to discuss useless things, so let's just get on with it already. Oh, so sad, so sad, my chest hurt. Forcing everyone to do this is so sad. Hey, hey, hey don't go talking without permission after I've said my catchphrase. Now I'm really angry. Otherwise, I'll roll a dice and based on the results, I'll give you a sex change operation that many times. Hey. What an extreme punishment. Now then. Well, let's get on with it once again. Yeah. Let's get a move on, boys and girls. And so it begins. I hope this would never happen again, and now it's happening for the fourth time. The curtain to the fourth class trial was about to open. Nakamaru Nidai, the ultimate team manager. He was more passionate, more daring, more honest than anyone I've ever met. Truly, he was more man than any of us. He sacrificed his body to protect Akane and his appearance changed drast <clears throat> drastically because of that. But he still tried to live earnestly. And just when I finally got used to his new form, Nekomaru's killer is one of us. Killing someone because it's the only way to survive is no excuse. I won't let this be excused. I won't forgive this. The person who betrayed Nekumaru, who betrayed their friends, I will never ever forgive them. And so, this life-threatening trial filling with hope and despair has begun. Yeah, let's save. Oh, yo. All right, so that's a good place to stop. We'll end the stream a little bit earlier today. And we'll get over from there. So next one will be the trial. Now I'm thinking, basically what my my thoughts of this are, 
that Ekumaru killed himself for his friends. Because they would have starved to death if nobody died. And nobody was doing the killing. So because of how he felt about them, and wanting to see everybody live, he decided he would sacrifice his own his own self. But where he got the hammer and everything. He got the idea to do all that. I don't know. But he's also tied up. I don't know. It's a bunch of weirdness. A bunch of weirdness. <laughs> but anyways, as I said, that's going to be that. Now, I may be having an additional special, special bonus stream tomorrow. Again, I know, streaming so much this week, isn't that right? It's so weird. What? It won't be Danganronpa. It's gonna be a surprise game. We'll see. We'll see. It's just gonna be kind of like a, a little one-off thing. Maybe uh, play once, twice, we'll see how things go with that. And that's about it. Other than that, uh, it will once again, it's going to be, I'll post about it inside my Discord, as well as Twitter, just to let everybody know the times, what's happening, all that. So, thank you very much everybody for hanging out tonight. Let's go see if anybody, Chris is still online. He started late. Maybe we could raid him. <sighs> he isn't. Alas. Oh, but we've got a few people. We've got Shiba. We've got Impact. Both playing Cold, uh, Code Vein. Tell you what. I'm going to. We're going to raid over uh, Shiba's. Uh, Shiba's here. Good, good times. Alright, so let's set this up. Damn. Awesome. Alright, so as always, we'll see you guys later. If you're not going to be by for the bonus stream, hopefully we'll see you this Saturday. Um, we might even just do more Danganronpa this Saturday, so this way we can get through this game. I'm ready for the new one. So anyways, you have yourselves a wonderful night, and we'll see you all later.